Everyone you know what it is? You know, you know what's amazing about Pochettino, yeah? A lot of people always, always, always want to find a stick to beat him with. Oh, he made shocking signings, bro. He also made some very good ones. Is man, man are going to pretend that Sir Alec Ferguson didn't sign David Bellion? Yeah, every manager does. He didn't sign Jemba Jemba. He didn't sign Cleberson. He didn't sign flipping Gabriel Obertan. He didn't sign Bebe. Yeah. He didn't sign flipping Mame Diouf that ended up at Blackburn. Man Facts. didn't sign Dong Fang Zhu, blood. He didn't sign flipping... Bruv, even Alan Smith was crap. You know yeah, them? Everyone has bad players. You know I, I mean, mean like, fully. yes. You know what I'm saying? Rest in peace. Liam Miller, bruv, like, played for Manchester United. I don't know how. You know them ones, bro. Literally, there's a list, the length of the M6 of crap <laughs> signing. <laughs> that Sir Alec Ferguson made, but he got away with it because the core of the United team was so strong yeah. that all these players that came in, we managed, we just, we managed to just pick up the slack. You know the yeah. one. And there also, were loads of footballers that came through the academy that got games like Chris Eagles, yeah, and like Lee Martin and all these man that weren't good, bruv. Yeah, facts. You gave me your your Makedas and players like that, bruv. Sir Alec Ferguson bought bear duds, bro. Yeah. Hella duds, bro. Taibi and that in goal. My man, forget him. Bartez. Bartez was crap. Yeah, bro, bro, bro. Listen, there's a long list of dead ballers. My man said, yeah, that Phil Jones was going to be the next Duncan Edwards fan. Yeah, yeah, wrong. But like his whole up, chest, you know. You got, yeah, that's 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 one of his biggest errors, definitely, without question. But like you said, one thing that Poch did, that Fergie also did, there was more good signings than bad. And that's what you'll be bro. judged on. Because you're going to get him wrong. If you sign 10 players and eight are good and two are bad, that's a fantastic return. If you sign 10 players and nine are bad and one's good, that's not a good return. It's not even mm. propaganda. The potch propaganda isn't because here's the thing. You can pick any manager in the world. They will have an issue. There'll be, mm. there'll be some form of black mark. There is no perfect manager out there to pick. None whatsoever. There'll always be players that come and struggle and there'll always be players that come and play well. Like my man yeah. said, the decision twins like, I like listen I, I like both Raphael. of them yeah, they, they got great work ethic and that but bruv they never hit the ground running do mm. you know what i mean as soon as the core of the united team got older and they started to move away it was their opportunity to step up none of them ever made the left back and right back position their own at any point in their careers they never made it their own because they weren't good enough you know them ones and that's just what it is manucho as well another bruv. i forgot about manucho jeez you are taking it back. some bums bro what's it manucho dead as well now Owen Hargreaves was good man it's just that he was injury prone yeah Owen Hargreaves people forget that season we won the Champions League he was vile to that he I was another player that, that you can add, add to better than Jordan Henderson while we're at it you know them yeah, he's there. Did. that's not even a conversation Owen was different I remember the free kick he, he, he whipped as well yes right. I was at the ground that game yeah, yeah. Uh, bits so like that Nick Powell another one he was meant to be the next Paul Scholes what happened to Nick, him Nick Powell you know I forgot about these, man. I try and erase these from my memory. This is why I don't remember these. When United bad results and bad players, I do the men in black thing. You know, you get me? The memory thing and that. I'm like, oh, I don't want to remember this. It was bad enough at the time. Never mind, years later. There you go, bro. You know what I'm saying? And then, man, there. And there you go. Jemba, Jemba, we said already. But, bro, like, Oli signed bad, dead ballers, bro. Alex, Alex Butner came and didn't yeah. do nothing. Oh, bro, Butner, look. Yeah. Mark Bosnich. Him. Fam, <laughs> like, bro, we could keep going. So when man say that Poch ain't signed well, bro, loads of money, I mean, blah, 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 loads of managers, um, actually... Every manager. Um, Every. Louis, Louis Zaha was a top quality striker. He just very injury prone. Yes, Zaha I'm not having. Zaha was top quality. It. Like you said, injury prone, like Hargreaves, just injury prone, but top quality. But Left this is right or quick. Score yeah. ahead is everything strong, everything. Zaha cold. But that's what I'm saying. So, guys... When men are talking about Poch's um, record in signing players, come on, bro. Like, yeah. Respect respect it, bro. Because at the end of the day, loads of managers sign players it doesn't work out for for whatever reason. There's, yeah. there's, not an, there's not an issue with that. For me, there's no issue with that. I'm looking at the players that he inherited, the squad that he left Jose with, spending less money than all of the money the managers he was complete, competing with in the top six or top Big four even. And a lot less when he went two, he went two windows without signing no one, two full windows. Well, people overlook that. People no rarely sign. overlook that. You know what I'm saying? He that is getting the best out of what you have. Like Ollie, 
like people complain about Oli, oh, he's not the owners, the board, blah, blah, blah. It's the same with Poch at that time. He didn't have the best possible platform to succeed, but he utilized the tools to the best of his ability. This is why he finished second, third, and fourth. This is why he had them playing good football. This is why he elevated them as a club. This is why he got to Champions League finals. If he does all of those things at Manchester United, we will win something. We will win Fair. something. Fair. Yeah, man, get that to 1K, people. We'll win yeah, something. Champions League, that. Premier League. Over a thousand in here, guys. Make sure you get the likes up. You already know the thing. But real talk. Dalek Ferguson, bro, like Zeran Tosic, bro. Allow it, man. Bro, like look at the amount of man, dead ballers, bro. Allow it, man. You might have you know bring you back terrible bro, memories for man. Bro, listen, we could keep going. He signed a hell of duds, bro. Yeah. And if you look here yeah, for the majority of Sir Alec Ferguson's Premier League um career, he had the same class of 92 spine and Roy Keane. And then he swapped Roy Keane for um Michael Carrick. But the spine was there almost throughout, bro. Do you know yeah. what I mean? Because even when Vidic and Ferdinand came in, left back was still Gary Neville, bro. Yeah, the right back you know? was Gary Neville. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. The right back, Gary Neville, was still there. Was still there. Yeah. When Beckham got moved on, but then Ronaldo came in, Giggs was still there. Yeah. Do you see what I'm saying? No, man, Nicky, you got to make a valid point. Yeah, Nicky Butt was, was still, still there. there. Mm. The spine was the same, bro. We swapped Peter Shamichael out. Do you know what I mean? Edwin van der Sar comes in. Yeah, we struggled yeah. after, and then Edwin came in, steadied the ship. In between Edwin van der Sar and Peter Shamichael, he signed Tim Howard, bare dead goalies. Yeah, Tim Howard, Matt Bosnich, Massimo Taibi. Right, they all flopped, bro. So yeah. let's not pretend that Ferguson didn't make no bad signings, please. Because yeah. every manager, there's no manager in the world who didn't, who hasn't, and won't make bad signings. You know this what I'm is saying? it. Clock, so we got ever... the signing thing to beat. Facts. Beat man with we can't Klopp, who's you get me, who's done well at done very well at Liverpool and assigned a lot of good players. Not every if you look at Kato, he's probably the one who hasn't worked. Mm. All the others have, but that's what it is. It's a law of averages and percentages. Like if you sign 10 players, eight of them have to be good. Yeah. That's a great return. We you we know that you're gonna get, get them wrong. We're not asking for 10 out of 10. You're gonna get some wrong. No players are guarantee. Yes, you know what I'm saying. That's we, what it is. we went through Carol. Foster, flipping Bart. I forgot about Bartet. Roy Carroll. Bruv, Roy Carroll, blood. I forgot about Carroll. The one he dropped the Mudrick shot from the halfway line. Bro, oh my you see what I'm saying, bruv. So, oh. bruv, we've been through it, you know. Taibi and his tracksuit bottoms and them thing there, bruv. <laughs> bruv <laughs> we've really been through it, innit? <laughs> so, bruv, let's not pretend, innit? Let's not pretend that it's all been rosy. We signed a washed up Michael Owen. My man, like, drop my hat one second. Bro, sec. we've been through it, bro. <laughs> we have been through it, yeah. We've been through it, so let's not That's use, yeah. Enough, you know? <laughs> Let, let's not use, yeah. Um, you know why? I forgot about the tracksuit buttons with the yellow top. You know what I'm saying? And that. Oh, listen, <laughs> listen. Don't let's let's not, yeah, <laughs> bro. Oh. Bro, let's <laughs> not, yeah. Pretend that Salik Ferguson did not. Like play with man's emotions in the transfer market because he yeah. did, you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's oh. still giving me nightmares. Yo. Oh, this guy was always getting loved. Man. Threw the ball to Henri, blood. He did. He threw the ball to Henri. He did. Come on, bro. Listen, that was almost <laughs> as bad as flipping um, that Liverpool goalkeeper in the, in the Champions League final. It was oh, almost like, yeah, it was almost like, like, Carrius esque. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, Henri, yeah, the yeah. most deadly striker in the world, one on one. Yeah, at that current time, and you just <laughs> throw the ball to him. Man, pass the ball to him, you know, at Highbury. What's wrong with you, fam? Bro, listen to what I'm saying to you. Sir Alec Ferguson done some real, real sideman things in the transfer market. And because the spine was there, we got away with it, yeah, bro. A thousand percent. You know them, man. So let's not talk and say, oh, yeah, Poch didn't make good signings. Bro, Pep's made some horrendous signings. Oh, Most of Jesus. You know what? what? Pep probably made more bad signings than good signings. Yes. He's made because the spine of the successful team, we spoke about managers building it, was built before him. Yeah, this, my is a, this is a brilliant conversation. Kind of what year did um, Pep Guardiola go into Man City? Uh, was it 2000? He's been there, what, four years? Was it 2016-15? Well, we'll find, we'll find out right now. 2016, yeah. the manager was still Pep Guardiola. So that means he yeah. came in in um, 2000 and he must have come in that year. Yeah, Pep, think, the manager in 2016, yeah? Yeah, yeah, I thought so. Because he had the bad season, then he won it twice, and then he lost it to Liverpool. So, yeah, that would take us to now. Yeah, yeah 2015, 
Yeah, that's the season Raheem came in because Raheem came in a year before knowing that Pep was coming the following year. Mm. They finished fourth with Pellegrini, yeah? Yeah. This is Man City's team now. Let's get the team up now. Um, yeah. And then we can see how many of these players, yeah, were there with... Um, okay. That spine was built. Joe Hart got rid of him, yeah? Mm. Sanya was a good player. A company, good player, who stayed... Man skipper until he retired. He's Mr. Manchester City. Yep. Zabaleta was there. Mm, good sir. Erlin there. Fernando, Nazri, Aguero, Kolarov, Caballero. Man had Wilfred Bonnie, you know. Navas, De Bruyne, yeah. Delph, Mangala, dead ballers. Silva, Clichy, Fernandinho, yeah. Bruv, look at that. Did so he sign De Bruyne? No, he was already there. The Bruyne was already there. Okay. Yeah, oh. so the majority of the... Yeah, oh, oh, that, that whole spine so, was there. Oh, well, so listen to me. Toure mm. was there already, yeah? Mm. So they already had Toure. They already had Fernandinho. Mm. They already had um, Aguero. They already had Sterling. They already had Company. They already had De Bruyne. That's their spine now, bruv, pretty much. Yes. And David Silva was already there. Yeah. And Fernandinho, had... bro. Man's whole spine that won him all the trophies was already yeah. at the club. Yes, he just added the side bits to it. Bruv, do you, do you see what I'm saying? I fully well, the man that he put in are not the reason why he won the league. The reason why he won the league was That's Kevin De Bruyne. Yeah, it's the Sergio spine. Aguero. Yes. David Silva. Yes. Raheem Sterling. Yeah. Fernandinho. Yes. Vincent Company. All the mm -hmm. man that he met there. Yes. Because all his, like you said, he has made more bad signings than good. If you look at your cl right, cloud of where you signing Nolitos, yeah, and the Grados and all these other bad <laughs> ballers, bruv. All these shit man from the Spanish league that came here and didn't do it, bruv. That's the Grado, signed, signed three goalkeepers in the first two seasons. Yeah, because he signed Bravo. Who else did he sign? Some Bravo. Next, some next bum that didn't make it. <laughs> do you know what I mean? And it's, then that's not his name rants, yo. His name is it doesn't rant. matter. Some next scrub, bro. <laughs> Man's got two dead keepers, yeah. And then flipping, <laughs> <laughs> bro. John Stones, bravo, bro. Let's go through the list of players yeah, that man that are let's shy, bro. Yeah, yeah, let's go through oh, it. Bro. John Stones, Mendy, bro. Come on, fam. You know, like that, bruv. <laughs> they signed what they spent bare money on Otamendi and then Mandy. Otamendi, John Stones was his signing. Let's not forget. Oh, listen, really listen. Cancelo, bruv, uh, Cancelo does Zinchenko. Zinchenko. Zinchenko, yeah, yeah. Sane, Sane's gone now. You know, them, <laughs> bruv, Danilo, bruv, <laughs> Danilo. That was bruv, it. How many whack ballers did this Brea sign? Like, Yo, how what? many? How how many whack fullbacks just alone there? I might say Cancelo, oh, Mendy, Danilo. Fullbacks in one season and they're all crap. Even at that <laughs> Angelino you came from there, I swear. <laughs> yeah, Angelino. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, that's no. poor. That's Pep, poor. Pep been spending hella bad money, fam. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? So what, does that, just, does that rub him out now? Yeah, it doesn't. You know what I'm saying? Because he was still successful. So it doesn't. But so, people don't like that argument. Mean, let's not talk about, yeah, signings, yeah as a stick to beat managers with because honestly when you sign a player you do not know yeah how they're gonna settle you don't know about the language barrier you know but there's so many different things you don't know you don't know how they're gonna settle how their family settle the kids might not be happy at the school there's so life. many things yeah you bro know what it's like just to let people know if your wife's unhappy your life is not happy i'm telling it's you now it is know that <laughs> If your wife's giving you stick, yeah. Anyone who's old enough here yeah, who's been in any form of serious relationship, if your woman isn't happy, you are not happy. No this matter where you work, no matter if how you think you're happy, you're not happy, bro. You're not happy in it. You're not. So <laughs> you're not so you don't know, guys. You really don't know, yeah, like how these things are gonna go. Facts. You Facts. don't know how they're gonna go. So when you say certain things, yeah. About managers and signing players, bruv. Hella managers are signing some dead players. Yeah, man. We only went through Pep's fullbacks. Even if you look at the midfield, your Rodri's and players like that. You get what I'm saying? I told man about Rodri already, blood. You know what I'm saying? Chirizo, Darren Gibson, blood. <laughs> That's what man is, bro. Oh, yeah. Don't forget the Copacabana, um, Kevin Phillips up top as well. Um, <laughs> Gabio Jesus, blood. Do you know what I'm saying? Man snuck into Brazil, fam. <laughs> snuck in at the age of 16, blood. No papers. 
Man ain't telling no me work. nothing. No papers, B. <laughs> you know, like that? Nah, bro. Dead out here. And that's what I'm trying to say, fam. Like, man uh -huh. can't really say it. Like, man can't say nothing. Jovetic, bro. That, that, yeah, bro. Jovetic, I forgot about Jovetic. Yo, you lot in the comments, keep them coming in it. Keep this. this is I can be here all day with the dead, dead, dead ballers this brother has signed, fam. You know what I mean? So, because of that, let's not really come out here mm. and say, yeah, that yo, because a manager like signs a bad player, that means they're done out here. Facts. Facts. Do you know what yeah. I'm saying? No, 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 no. Let's put some respect on Pochettino because what he did at Southampton, who he brought in for Tottenham and how he reinforced that team and made that team capable of getting to a Champions League final and also beat Pep over two legs. Yes. And respect that. The same man that is saying, yeah, oh, yeah, Pep, I mean, um, Poch ain't won that and the same man that's saying, yeah, but I'll take Nagelsmann, though. <laughs>